Hey, good morning. Welcome to this day, my daily video devotional. I'm so grateful that you've chosen to spend this time with me each morning. I hope you're getting encouragement from it. I know it's an encouragement and a challenge for me uh, to do this. Uh, We've been praying on the full armor of God the last few days and learning how to do that. Paul teaches us that in Ephesians chapter 6. And now we're at the final piece of that prayer and the final piece of the armor. As we begin to pray on, you know, we start with the belt of truth, how to resolve conflicts in our lives. We've mentioned the breastplate of righteousness, soaking in the sonship of the Lord, that we are truly joint heirs with Christ. And then we pray on our shoes of wisdom and peace over our schedule. We pray on that favor of God with that shield of faith. And then we begin to uh, put on the helmet of salvation, get control over our thought life. And then we take up the sword of the spirit, listening and discerning the voice of God. Now we're praying the final piece of that prayer. Here's what Paul said, chapter six, verse 18. He says, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. You see what we're doing now, we're asking the Holy Spirit to seal this prayer to seal it and that we would begin to understand and discern how we can be flexible and alert throughout the, throughout our day as we're praying all the day long even in the midst we just kind of begin to start a holy dialogue with the Lord that we begin to speak to him and show him that we're grateful we're thankful Lord lead me and we are alert to him speaking to us through our friends our co-workers situations at work even through conflicts even through mountains that we've got to move out of the way even through those hard times we're listening for the spirit to lead and guide us you know when jesus was telling his disciples that he after his resurrection and right before his ascension he said that i must go but i will send one that is greater than i will do greater things he was speaking of the holy spirit the holy spirit is our comfort he will lead and guide us into all truth that's what he promised he would do a wonderful powerful promise so as you begin to go throughout your day be alert be flexible and you know another thing that I love is that the Holy Spirit is actually praying for you and I he is interceding for you and I our greatest and our most deepest needs he is praying for us so as we begin to seal on God's armor and remember this is a daily thing you know the armor is not something that we just put on one time and we leave there it's a daily prayer. It should become a daily, almost a new habit that we should implement into our life. You know, when the soldier would go off to war, he'd come back, he'd take off his armor, he would rest. The next day he'd go to battle, he'd have to start the process of fitting himself for battle again. That's the same way for you and I. Our lives every day are filled with new conflicts. We are in a spiritual warfare. And friends, I promise you, you don't have to live this life that's full of stress, full of strife and anguish and worry and, and bickering and going back and forth with all of those in your, that are in your path or in your family. You don't have to live that life. That's not the life Jesus has intended for us. He's given us the option to live a life of peace, free from strife, free, just complete joy. Let's pray on the full armor of God and, and, and begin to experience that kind of life. Let's seal it with this last piece of the armor. You know, when I'm praying on God's full armor every day, I notice a difference. So here, I'm going to challenge you that those of us that have been going on this journey, we begin to learn how to use these weapons in the spiritual warfare. I'm going to challenge you as the same way my mentor challenged me when he was teaching me this concept. For the next 10 days, I want you to commit for 10 days, I will pray on the full armor of God. If it takes me an extra 30, 45 minutes a day, Jason, I will commit that I will pray on this full armor of God. And I want you to do that. And then I want you to pay special attention. Be alert to how much better your day is, how much more free from stress you are, how, how your brain operates in a more full capacity. You remember things a little easier. You get a lot more accomplished. You are rested in the spirit. There's balance in your life when you pray on the full armor of God. And then after that 10 day test, I want you to take three days off. I want you to just stop praying this armor of God on you. And I want you to notice the difference. I believe that you will notice a major vast difference that things aren't as easy as they were when you were praying. And then it will give you a newfound hunger for implementing this into your every single day prayer life, praying on the full armor of God. Here's a couple of promises when we do that. The Gospel of John chapter 14 and verse 26. 
He said that I will teach you and show you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. That's the Holy Spirit's promise that he would do for us. He would teach us all things. He is our teacher. And he would bring all things to our remembrance as we need them throughout the day. That's the kind of balanced, spirit-filled life Jesus wants for us. And I like this. In Romans chapter 8, verse 26 and verse 27, I want to turn there and I want to read this. This is a wonderful promise that God has given the believer. Even when we can't pray for ourselves, sometimes we're so sick. I know I've been so sick, you know, whether you had the flu or whatever, you don't feel like doing a thing. You can't even focus. You're so sick or you're so under the weather or your life is just filled with tragedy and it's just hard for you even to come up with the words. Friends, the Holy Spirit, even now, is praying a more perfect prayer for you and I that we could ever pray for ourselves. Listen what it says in Romans 8, 26 and 27. Likewise, the Spirit also helps our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit himself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. When we don't even have the words, he is praying for us. And he that searches out the heart knows what is the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. The Spirit of God is praying for the perfect will of God for you and I in our lives even now. What a great promise that he has given. I want you to try that. Make a commitment to me and to God. For the next 10 days, you're going to pray on the full armor of God. And I believe you'll notice a vast difference that you'll see in the victorious Christian life that you can live through Jesus Christ. God bless you. Have a great day.